Hello, everybody. We're going to jump right into the Word today. I trust that you've prayed, and if you haven't, we just lift you up in prayer right now that you have ears to hear, eyes to see, and a heart wide open to the things of God, which is the Word of God. We're going to be talking about today, words are containers. Words are containers. You know, a container, it holds something. And the way you open it is by the lid. Unscrew that lid or take a can opener and open it up. Words are containers. I want that to sink in today. All uh, several hours, <laughs> the Lord's been having me meditate on that all the the end of the yesterday and today. And uh, even, even now, it's just the Lord just keeps giving me revelation, knowledge of this. Words are containers. What are you putting in your container? Now, there's some things, maybe we don't have our mind renewed in some areas, that you don't want to meditate on. Because what you meditate on, you're going to put in that container, and eventually it's going to be opened and come out of the container. So if you got a Bible or whatever device of your choice is, in Matthew 6, chapter 6, verse 25, and also Matthew 6, 31 through 34, we'll clear that up real close, clear that up real good for you. And it says, therefore, take no thought saying, where's your thought? In your container. Got that? And then if it's a thought that's not, you know, I got in a fuss fight with whatever or had a misunderstanding with the waitress or or this happened or that happened, whatever it was, caught you off guard or whatever, and you said something or done something that really you shouldn't have said or done. Well, the thing is, take no thought saying. Just forgive them. Just forgive them and go on. Take no thought saying. When you have pain in your body, take the good thought. It's kind of like one guy. He said, your body is like has two wolves in it. One's a good wolf. One's a bad wolf. The good wolf, you want to live because that's where your prosperity and your peace and your love and everything works right. And the bad wolf is the one always trying to talk you into the mess. But it's in a container. They're in containers. And the young guy said, well, which one's going to win? And the older guy said, the one you feed. See, the one you feed. So you're going to starve your doubts to death by what? By not saying. Don't take a thought. That's Matthew 6.25, Matthew 6.31 through, through 34. Don't take a thought saying. You see that? Saying is very important. What, in a per, whatever the abundance of your heart, your mouth speaks. That's in Matthew 2. And so... What are we talking about? Well, it's like Joshua 1.8. It talked about this, uh, talking about success, how to have good success. And then he said, don't let, he said, uh, let the meditation of your mouth. You think he would have said mind. He said mouth. See, meditate in your mouth. You know, fill your heart and mouth with the word of God. That's why it's so important. Because you got to realize words are containers. I know people from the outside, they watch these programs and they really like them. And, uh, but every once in a while, you know, your mind tries to tell you, well, why are you saying you're healed when your body is sick? Because words are containers. And the way you open up that jar or that container or the open up the blessing is by what you say. You see that? It's by what you say. Look over in uh, uh, Corinthians right quick. If you got a Bible there. Look in Corinthians. And it will just, uh, it, it, it's worth going over there and just going over it and going over it and going over You can't go over the Word of God enough. I mean, I'm in it all the time. I'm driving in my car and uh, somebody gave me an, an old uh, uh tapes that they're brand new but shoot i still listen to tapes 
and uh, I just have it set right there in the car that every time when, it, when it's turned on, when I'm in that car, I listen to it. I have, or you can put it on the tablet, the Word of God. Look in uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and in verse 13. We having the same spirit of faith according to as it is written. Now what are we putting in our container? What's written? We're not going by some goofy stuff. I've heard people say, oh, you're just a blab it and grab it or whatever. <laughs> no, we're not going by goofy stuff. We're going by the Word of God. You can't go wrong going by the Word of God. I believe, and therefore I, I therefore have I spoken. How do we release it out of our container? But what we speak. You've got to be in there first. It's got to be in there first. Okay, let's put it in there, then speak it out. We also believe, and therefore we speak. See, our words are container. Now, we quoted that one verse, but I think it'll help us if you read it. Let's turn back in the Old Testament, back over to Joshua 1.8, and uh, it'll, it'll be a major blessing to you. Over there in Joshua 1.8, I know nobody took uh, Joshua out of the Bible when I was asleep. <laughs> so Joshua 1 8, way over in the Old Testament, in verse chapter 1 and in verse 8. Joshua 1 8. Don't let this the, this book of the law, which is all they knew back then. Now we would say, you know, the Bible. Uh, this book of the law, verse 8, Joshua 1, 8, shall not depart out of your mouth. See that? Mouth. How do you release your faith? Your mouth. Out of the buns of your heart, your mouth speaks. Now, that mind might, might be in the process of getting renewed, which it is every day. But we just keep speaking out of our mouth. Amen. What the Word of God says. If you have to write on an index card and stick it in your pocket. Or I've, 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 I've gotten, uh, wrote it out on a piece of typing paper, made a triangle, a little triangle out of it, and stuck it on the dash of my car with some tape. And every time I got in there, I'd just read that. I said, this is what I am right here. I'd read that verse or whatever it is that wrote down there. Mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein. Day and night, this Joshua 1, 8. And thou mayest observe to do it according to all that is written. There it is again, written, written, written. We're going, we're, what, what are we putting in our containers? What's written in the Bible? The good stuff. Therefore, then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. How are you going to make your way prosperous? By working smart. <laughs> and this is the working smart. So you put the word first. You got yourself. You got, you got God out front. You can't go wrong by putting God out front. And then thou shalt have good success. How are you going to have good success and prosper? Watching that mouth. Watching that heart, watching what's going in your ears. So you don't listen to nobody else. See, people, if you hadn't noticed, the blessing is available for everybody. But what happens is they don't want to work the blessing. And so what happens is they just want to make fun of or say negative stories about people that are blessed. See? And so what you have to do, though, is you can't go by that negative. You have to go by what God is saying out of his word. And when we do that, shoot, we're doing good. It's just like Mark 11, 23 and 24, have faith in God. It says, if you speak to the mountain, what are you saying to the mountain? Well, mountain is, is a representation of a problem. Well, what are you saying to the problem? Well, you're saying God's word to it. Now, 
we had a little debate the other day. It wasn't a debate on my part, but on the on this uh, lady's part. She said that when we speak faith, we're holding God to his word. I said, well, actually, God doesn't need to be held to his word. It's his original intent. He's the one that wrote this stuff. <laughs> it's his word. He's already given us his word. He don't have to be held to it. No, we have to be held to it because circumstances of life are trying to get us off of his word. You see that? Isn't that good? Let me say that again. We're not really holding God to his word because he is a God of his word. This is his word. We're holding ourselves in line with the word. That way everything else, that's try negative forces, have to back down and leave. It's just like healing. We are the healed resisting sickness. But most people think that they are the sick trying to get healed. Let me say that again. It's kind of a twister there. Most people think that they are the sick trying to get healed. But in reality of the Bible, we are the healed resisting sickness. See that? Pushing against it. Saying, no, you're not going to come here. No, you're not going to stay here. No, you're not welcome here. And then we would say the scriptures. Whatever healing scripture you are got in you. See? Now, most people would say, I'm claiming that to be so. No, the scriptures are already so. We're just resisting. We're using the scriptures to stand firm on what the scriptures are already saying. See the difference? See, it's kind of like, well, I'm going to, uh, 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 I'm going to claim that to be so. No, it's already so. We're just simply saying the scriptures to keep us grounded in the word of God in a stronger light of the word. Let me give you an illustration. It's just like you get off of a jet. Well, first thing you do is you start walking to claim your baggage. Why? Because you don't believe that you have that baggage yet. So you're going to baggage claim to claim your baggage. Well, the scriptures are not like that. You're not claiming your luggage. No, you're not claiming the scripture in hopes of having it. No, you already have it. God has given you his word. And all we do is use our faith and say, thank you that we have that word. Amen. So I want to say today, thank you that we have that word. Thank you we have the word of salvation. Thank you we have the word of healing. Thank you we have the word of being filled with the Holy Spirit. Thank you we have the word of all the blessings of God. So be blessed today. Receive it today with your mouth. Amen. Open up the container and enjoy life. Fill your container with the blessings of God and speak it out. Glory.